Japan. Back to Japan. Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Soda's for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. That sounds... Such a display of power has Amelia. providence written all over it. Soda's, who suffers from a rare condition known as situs inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper. No, why? Shark here for a standard medical checkup. He would know As about such, Tobias Reaper. To play it by ear and You've also been compromised. To complete the mission. That's not a good you also idea. You need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery, and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. No, don't ap apologize. Uh, thanks for hanging out, Ante. Alright, soldiers. It's always <laughs> a shadowy man in uh, Hitman games, um, in cutscenes who are uh, who are villains. I, I should rem should have been remembering that from the beginning. Retired from the field in 19. I, I, 1981, Eric Solders is still considered the best ICA agent in he, of his generation. Despite his superior skills, Solders was uh, forced to retire at an early age due to a, a cognitional attack, a cognitional heart condition. One of his last missions was the legendary assassination of Jasper Knight, a US chess master who was exposed as a KGB spy, a mission which he still studied uh, vicariously by ICI handlers for its craft and strategic purity. Saunders was appointed as senior supervisor in charge of recruitment and training of new ICA operatives and later joined the ICA board of directors. Solar suffers from a rare condi condition situs inversus in uh, which his internal organs are reversed. He received his first heart transplant in 1995. I think uh, the heart transplant was going on in the second game uh, in India with cult leader, I think it was hard too. There's some some sort of operation been going on there. He received his uh, a procedure that might have involved illegal black market organ trading. However, being a, a sacred ICA cow, no formal investigation was made. Intel suggests that Soders is once again dying and right-sided donor hearts are almost impossible to obtain. Can't you just flip it? <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, this plus the fact that Soderus is virtually 
broke from gambling gives uh, an indication of why he was chosen to betray ICA and, and become a mole for Providence. They not only have access to the best medical treatments that uh, money can buy, but they also have the global reach and means to pro procure an illegal donor heart at short notice. Sodorus cannot have been uh, on Providence payroll for more than a few weeks, otherwise he would uh, have warned them about the hits of their operatives in Italy and Morocco. It was like it turned shortly after the abduction of Thomas Cross from his son's funeral when Providence realized that someone was using ICA to attack their operatives. Providence was presumably kept has presumably kept files on all ICA board members in case they would ever need to infiltrate us. This explains why Soder's file was among the Shadow Client's research in Colorado. Eric Soder's is a survivor, plain and simple. Once a formidable assassin, he grew bitter and resentful after his early Forced retirement. Oh, nice. Thanks for that. Not available. Shortly after the abduction of Thomas cross from his son's funeral when Providence realized that someone was using ICA to attack their operatives. Providence has presumably kept files on all ICA board members in case they would ever need to infiltrate us. This explains why Soder's file was among the Shadow Client's research in Colorado. Eric Soders is a survivor, plain and simple. Once a formidable assassin, he grew bitter and resentful after his early forced retirement and has now lost all sense of honor. This mission is regrettable yet necessary. Soders must pay for his treachery and we must draw a line in the sand. Okay, so. not Frenchy who's been the villain yes the end we're kind of just leaving him aside for now to kill this guy Yuki Yamazaki is a cutthroat Tokyo trial lawyer and a secret operative of Providence. Uh, Yamazaki grew up in Osaka, the daughter of a regional Yakuza boss. Following our own assassination of uh, Masahiro Hayamoto in 2002, which left a power vacuum in the syndicate, Yuki Yamazaki's older brother and boyfriend were both killed in the ensuing gang wars. Fearing for her life, Yamazaki's parents shipped her off to relatives in the US where she studied law at UCLA. She returned to Japan for her MA and moved to Tokyo, where she found work as a legal advisor in a Yakuza-owned real estate company. However, 
her when her cousin, a street level Yakuza enforcer, was arrested for gun running, Yamazaki was pulled back into the world world of organized crime, displaying an uncanny ability to play her opponents like a fiddle. She expelled in excelled in sub Rosa dealings. Uh, not sure what that is. Plea bargains and uh, outright blackmail, quickly becoming the Yakuza's go to attorney. Yuki Yamazaki first rose to public when first rose to public fame, fame when following a year long sting operation. Tokyo police arrested no less than five top Yakuza bosses. Yamazaki was brought in as uh, the lead defender in the case and immediately drew the eye of the public with her stern non-nonsense non, non, style what? <laughs> and lack of humility in court, something the media quick ascribed to her years in America. As the trial carried on and the evidence mounted against her clients, Yamazaki never once winced or seemed to waver. She expertly pulled apart witnesses' testimonies, dismantling evidence collection and brought in her own counter evidence. Uh, this seems to be so drawn out. <laughs> For no good reason. Um, uh, yes, Yamazaki officers have managed to clear trials for most of the Tokyo underground, so we do not know when or how Yuki Yamazaki was chosen to enter Providence, but the recent decline in court appearances indicate no more than a year or two ago. Yamazaki appears to be part of the same team as the hostage in Colorado. Okay, uh, the guy we overdosed for no good reason. A type of messenger corpse whose uh, members act as uh, li liaisons between the anonymous providence leadership and its many global operatives. According to the Shadow Clients Information Board, they are known as Heralds. We can only guess at uh, the Herald's place within the Providence hierarchy, and right now that is of lesser importance. Yamazaki is uh, at Gamma to get vital information from Elric Soders uh, after his surgery, something we will need to prevent to make sure sensitive ICA materials do not fall into the wrong hands. <sighs> All right. Can still smuggle the item? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I guess I can't. Tobias Reaper suit. Come on, how can you choose the nickname of Tobias Reaper knowing where you are going? Guess let's go with this in this gown. Looks interesting. Whew. Less chance for a silent assassin. <laughs> On the first playthrough.
welcome to Hokkaido 47. The Gama Private Hospital provides cutting edge medical treatment for the global elite outside the law if required. The facility is partially run by an artificial intelligence system known as Kai. The AI oversees patient admission to various areas in the hospital and even participates in some medical procedures. You will find Eric Sodas in the operating theater undergoing a pre-surgery regenerative yeah. stem cell treatment. <laughs> a highly controversial procedure. I already see where this is Japanese going. Authorities. Judging UPM by Zaki table. Has already arrived. You'll find her in her suite or roaming the restaurant and spa areas of the hospital. Sodas is scheduled to be put under soon. Let us make sure he stays that way. Good luck, 47. <laughs> Service here at Gamma. Your personal robe has been outfitted with a radio frequency identification chip. Interesting. AI has an accent. Access to your personal suite. K A I Kai. Gamma Hospital is in part run by an artificial intelligence called Kai. Kai is in the charge of everything from calling patients over the PA to performing advanced surgery procedures. Everything at Gamma is top of the line and even the doors are out of the ordinary. No keys are needed as Kai simply detects the presence of a small uh, RFID chip. Um, incorporated into your clothing and grants you the appropriate access smooth and efficient oh disguises will open doors literally public patient journal tobias reaper mr tobias reaper is an excellent is in excellent physical condition. Blood work shows no indication of hereditary or age-related illnesses. Biomarkers indicate Mr. Reaper is in perfect health. N second sequence of tests not yet fully analyzed. Oh, I'm somebody having a party. I'm not sure what date it is right now. So I can crawl somewhere from here. Yeah, I thought so, but then to check. Gamma Hospital pamphlet. A pamphlet describing the facilities at Gamma. Patients are encouraged to enjoy themselves at the spa, restaurant, and in the outside winter garden. Entry to the facility's menu sections is granted by Kai, the resident artificial intelligence. Kai recognizes the chips implanted in your clothes and will automatically grant you access to the areas of Gamma that you are not you are allowed to visit. Patients with a 
appointments at the hospital facility will be notified through the hospital's PI system. Hey, I thought doors were automatic. Okay, this is interesting. There was no valve, but he <laughs> acted like it was. have any items. the TVs. Fuck the mirrors. I have intel about that bandaged patient. Well, this is quite fascinating. The bandaged patient is Jason Portman, former CEO of Quantum Leap. According to my intel, he has undergone full facial reconstruction and is scheduled for bandage removal today. And get this, he's going for the full Helmut Kruger look. Okay. Asshole. Maybe you can find someone else to emulate. How about, uh, I don't know, Jordan Cross. He's hot, right? Wow, this is super embarrassing. Uh, at least we don't attend the same social Just, circles. Uh, invite him into your room, Shut 47. Up, right? Please, I be I'm begging you. I can make you disappear for good. Mmm. Sir, this is not a dump. Don't throw your boots to the ground. Come back, Mom. I hope you're enjoying your stay. Nowhere to hide. Ah, oh. okay, never mind. Huh? 
Would someone go see what the funk that was? Absolutely. Hello? This used to be a nice egg. <laughs> Eh, this fucking door. I pressed to close it, but nope. Nope. Mr. Jason Portman, please come to the hospital entrance. A doctor will escort you to your checkup. Good to see you. That was for Mr. Jason Portman. A doctor will escort you to your appointment. Please proceed to the hospital entrance. Where? Ah, oh, Mr. Portman. Perfect timing. Follow me to the consultation room, if you please. You must be eager to see the new you. Gentlemen, Mr. Portman is with me. No Looking need good, to bother man. him with unnecessary security measures. Must be good to get out a little, stretch those legs. I do love the options available here at Gamma, but I imagine it can get tedious to lie in bed all day. If you haven't been to the gym yet, you should really go. We've got a new yoga instructor here, JB. Dish. You're in good hands, Mr. Portman. Gama is such an incredible place. The medical facilities are beyond anything I've ever seen in the world. Well, with the exception of perhaps Kronstadt HQ or Ether's R&D facility in Johannesburg. So uh, there's so much going on. Tends to heal pretty quickly. But I understand yours was quite extensive. Don't worry, though. We've got the best facilities here. You'll get those bandages off in no time at all. Okay, Mr. Portman, your surgeon is in here. He should be ready for your checkup. Have a nice day. Smart way to get inside, 47. Well done. Do I need to un unbandage myself? Or is it just for getting inside? If you can just sit down for a moment, I'll get started right away. So, let's have a look at you, Mr. Portman. Be still as I remove the bandages. Oh, oh my. It's... Well, it's, it's astonishing. Not only Did you left you, the the spitting image of Helmet Kruger. The, the barcode too. The swelling is completely subsided, and there's not a trace of bruising. If I didn't know any better, I'd, I'd say you'd never undergone surgery. It's it's perfect. It's simply perfect. I'm I'm sorry. This is uh this is very emotional for me.
fuck. Okay, hopefully he's distracted. For real these. Toxin? No. Hmm. So I'm a surgeon, plastic surgeon, I think. Or just one of the docs. I've been blabbing about these automatic doors, but haven't seen much of those. Is this? Robot maintenance controls. This cons console can be used to test the hydraulics of the surgical robot arms. They should only be used if there is no patient present. As a precaution, Ka Kai is in entrusted to prevent any patient from harm. Instructed, probably? Yeah, instructed. <laughs> so... Do I need to turn off the AI somehow first, or... Interrupt the procedure? Ghost in the machine is probably what I need. Hmm. Shit. Sodas, former training director at the ICA. Hack. Scrambler. Where do I get that? Wait, maybe... Yeah, kind mainframe. Here we go. Uh, shit. Who do I need for that? Maybe if I do this... Oh, somebody comes here. And I get his disguise. Warning. Operations procedure overwritten. Warning. No vital signs detected. Wait, what? Commencing resuscitation procedure. Charging defibrillator. Ready. Three, two, 
Nobody going to come? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Mr. Sodas is coming back. Situation under control. Resetting. Operations proceed. Why did they program this AI with accents? <laughs> Why? Um Okay. Maybe I need some kind of engineer. I don't know where I would get this scrambler. You Kai Biatch. Oh, I need more gossip, I guess. It would take years to get cleared for human testing. Neurochips. It smells of cybernetics. It doesn't sit right with a lot of people. So, the. 47, I have intel regarding the pilot. I managed to gather intel from the hospital's security system. The chief surgeon, Nicholas Laurent, seems to have frequent rendezvous with a helicopter pilot near the remote personnel exit. And rumor has it that the chief surgeon suffers from trembling hands. What? How how can this be possible? Does everything uh, run by machines now? Maybe Chief Sergeant disguise will get give me the access to mainframe of Kai. What do you mean, dog? This is this is the main surgeon. He looks like. Fucking mechanic. There should be room for all here, I Sir, I'm sorry, this is a restricted area. That's it. One step at a time. Nothing to worry about. It's simple protocol. Thank you. You can pass. Good thing I had nothing. Disguise yourself as a pilot. Mm. He went somewhere. And now I want risk it.
I need to stash him somewhere if I want to do it. Here, possibly. Organ storage, I could... <laughs> Tamper with the heart. I think he actually goes to that room with peels. <sighs> Would be nice to just push him to the ledge, his body, but that's going to be a kill. Right? <laughs> Where do I hide the surgeon? Hmm. So maybe I will talk to him and we will lead him somewhere. Crack. There's no more room in that chamber where I came from. Uh, I can't poison the peels. Hopefully he's not going to freak out like the other guy. So do you say chopper or hilo? If I lead him further away than needed. Like come on. Please no. I, I, I took pilot lessons myself and didn't get the license though. I always felt my hands were destined for something great. What are you up to now? Can't we just go get them? Yeah, they they want me to go into that exact room. Okay, fine. the fuck hurt that shit why the fuck it wasn't silent in the first place 
shit, this is so dumb. What the hell could that have been? Anyone copy? Still looking. No sign of any perk. Don't go there, don't... No... Shit... Find some place to go! Now! I just found a victim. Crime scene. It's real fresh. Okay, maybe I should leave. I like how he's speaking on the radio, but... Nobody really receiving that. Provide you with the means mm, to get all a mess. Disorders. What a mess. The solder is not to the AI. Yeah. Probably going to be searched. Or not? Do I even need that gun though? Doesn't have silencer anyway. Yeah. I'll feel safer. Evening, Doc. Doctor. Turn off respirator. But it's going to turn on again because of this AI. Syringe, activate robotic arm. Huh. Let's just choose with which. how I'm going to kill him or what? So does Dale. I'm not sure what to feel about this one. 
Well, that's for another time. Yamazaki awaits. Patient deceased. Cause of death. Human error. As always, classic human error. Paging Hospital Director Nakamura. Nakamura san, please come to the operating theater. Should I just go as a guard? Doctor, guard, bodyguard. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how far I can go with that, but I guess let's try. Oops. Soldier is going to be in this room soon, I'm assuming. What is this? Coolers? Shh. Oh, incinerators. Not bad. Oh, that goes without saying. I do still wish we'd be able to put it into someone well younger, yeah, frankly. There are only so many windows left in the old man. Nice. Just stumble on it. Research assistance notes. These are research notes on the curator and his uh, neurochip implant. They go into some detail on how the chip functions and how the increase and decrease in dosage delivery affects his mood. The Notes indicate that increases in dosage tends to result in the curator becoming quite elated, while decreased dosages revert him into his default depressed state. Interestingly, the research assistant has been dosing the curator without his knowledge. Using the cheap remote control found in the curator's sleeping pod. 
Uh, all right. Curator, who's cur curator? Sleeping pod. Oh, yeah. Maybe if I disguise as a doctor, it would have helped more down here. What's up with the sudden limp on our resident yoga mat? Hmm, I noticed that. I heard him complain about it on the phone, too, talking to his doctor. But I think he overstretched or pulled a muscle or something. Uh, yeah, I guess that would explain it. There's a lot of annoyed people out there. That Yamazaki lady, the lawyer? She's really expressing her malcontent. Probably a good idea for him to stay out of her reach. Well, he's been walking around like that since this morning, so... I'm pretty sure he's not gonna be doing any routines with any of the guests. Well, what about you? Don't you have any, uh, meds or tricks to fix him up? You're a doctor, after all. I'm a mortician. My patients don't get well, they get cremated. You don't know what a mortician is, do you? Well, is it not revealing here? Say the word, I'm ready. Opportunity? Maybe, maybe some other room? certainly appears that Yuki Yamazaki is a fan of yoga. A schedule near the hot springs reveals that she has booked the trainer all day. Feeling flexible, 47? Hmm. Resident yoga instructor apparently injured himself while performing a particularly daring pose. He is now limping around somewhere in the hospital, unable to instruct anyone mom won't find out terry look i know you're only 12. no don't get mom they're out the terry, yoga area terry, terry what do you mean by that hi mom hi hello mother no 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 everything's fine here just does i need his uniform first I've got to run. Okay, next appointment's here. Talk to you soon, okay? I love you. Okay, yes, yes, hello. Say hi to Dad. Okay, bye. Damn it. Hmm. went a bit better what the f no okay um it seems like 
most of people have no idea about me. So I just go... Where's the yoga area? No yogis this way, sir. Please, meditate somewhere else. Thank you. But where is the yogi? Shit. I don't know if I can recommend people um, going without hints. That is Yuki Yamazaki, former lawyer to the Yakuza and current operative for Providence. Miss Yamazaki, I believe you booked time for a yoga lesson. Yes. To be honest, I was beginning to wonder if you're ever going to show. Glad you're here. If you will just follow me. To spa, where, where? I have to uh, turn it on again. Yeah, I don't know if I can recommend people like turn turn it to minimal because there's so many instances where it doesn't work. Well, maybe not too many, but. Oh, everything's to your satisfaction. Enough. Well done, 47. Now to make her spirit and body fly. I'm ready to begin. Miss Yamasaki. This is a schedule showing the yoga lessons for the day. Two things of immediate interest. JB, the yoga instructor, hasn't crossed off any of the completed lessons. And Yuki Yamazaki looks to have booked the entire day for herself. Very well. Let's begin. Let us begin with upward facing dog when you're ready. She doesn't even look. Maybe she already knows how to do it. <laughs> so I need to clear this area somehow. Fluid movement. Very good. Now, transition into Lord of the Dance. Remember to breathe throughout. Hmm. What's going on there? Warrior two pose. Core. Strength. Stay there for a while. Looks like she's she, her move leaps are moving. <laughs> Changing sides. Be strong. And finally, tree pose. This one is tricky. Oh. Find a good spot. <laughs> uh, uh. And that's where I push her. The problem is, though, um. This is a beautiful. Uh, everybody is looking. <laughs> can't do it right now, but she booked it for the whole day, so I can do another session maybe after I figure out
how to clear this area. Uh, that was just what I needed. Your instruction was perfect. Thank you, Mr. Brook. Don't tell me it's failed. Okay. So far, so good. Or is it complete? No smoking. It's actually complete. I don't know, maybe there's no other opportunity. Shit. Fire alarm, maybe, but just like too much. Okay, just going to smoke here forever. Hmm. From this side you can't even see anything. I wonder if it's going to work if I just knock him out. I don't even run- what the fuck? Run away! Clear out- clear out the area, please! No? Just stand around here. to business. Hmm. What would be the way to do it? It's patient. Right, so it comes from the inside. <laughs> no, wait. Relax. 
Yeah, I can't call her again. Have to find another way then. I just want to know it for the next time. How to clear the area. Because fire alarm didn't work. Hmm. He's smoking. The real seeker. Sushi. For both, I, I guess I need poison. Maybe she has some in her room. There's something about the guy with the creator who has a chip in his head or some shit. What this is all about. Oh, do you teach beginner yoga too? Sir? <laughs> oh, sushi. Let's explore that, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can, we can all agree on that. Guess what? Okay. I found out who our invisible man is. None no, other than I... Jason Portman. What? The Silicon Valley whiskey? That's the bandage patient. Didn't he sell his startup to Quantum Leap for like a billion dollars? Uh-huh. He's on their board too. Plays golf with Tim Quinn himself every Thursday. Really? A treat for me. So why is he wrapped in bandages? He's getting like a total makeover. Muscle implants, full facial reconstruction. I get this. He wants to look like Helmut Kruger. Um, well, okay, I already kn knew that. Nice already <laughs> went through that. No, idiot. Helmut Kruger. I mean, some people you know, like to do sports, sports, some people like to do hiking, no? oh, some like never mind. to hunt. Kruger's like a really famous supermodel. Apparently, like, he's Portman's biggest some idol. Still. Oh, hey, Ante. Uh, still my first try going. Can you copyright your own face? <laughs> I don't think I you think need to worry about that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't think I can... Didn't, didn't well very smooth, but... Still under control. I tried the yoga. Yoga was very fun, but... I haven't found a way to clear the area. Um, and missed the opportunity. We did the yoga session, but... I didn't finish it with the kick in the end. Because, like, it was full of people. No, 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 no. Yoga class must be somewhere else. It is not through here. Move on. Incident. Only last week. So I'm trying to find another way. Well, I can't even bear to say it out loud. Well, I'm sure you can make an exception. Oh, once Fugu. Hey, little Fugu fish poisoning. Not content with the thrills. 
of being a Providence operative and former Yakuza lawyer, you Yuki Yamazaki seeks to tingle her taste buds with the meat of the poisonous fugu fish. Sadly, the chef has been ordered not to serve fugu after an unfortunate incidental poisoning of a hospital patient. Now they are throwing out the last fugu. Hmm. this once. The rules are the rules. I'm sure you understand. I'm a lawyer. I see them more as a set of guidelines. I... I yeah, just whatever don't you want to get fired. Um, if you will excuse me. Oh, I asked for Hugo, not jellyfish. Hmm, for this I probably need chef outfits. But at least we know uh, how the poison should look like and what I should look at for... this okay that's connected to the cardinal what was that guy guy called curator haven't found this guy and have no idea who this guy is and why I even need to do it maybe creator is connected to the first murder actually and I don't even need to do it one of the guys in the uh, operating room this is a remote controlled uh, crazy degree chemical dosage released from the neuro chip residing in the creator's brain okay who's creator <laughs> It's not the chef's fault. What was the kitchen apprentice thinking cutting out a fugu fish by himself unsupervised? But it takes years of practice. Didn't the kid realize how poisonous those things are? Hey, he's a kid. I probably wanted to show off, I don't know. But anyway, the hospital administration probably thought it would be better to just jam serving fugu all together. Poor chef. That was his best party trick. 
Now what do we do with the last voodoo? Throw it out, I guess. Yeah, it's a damn shame, too. Chef had to refuse serving Yuki Yamazaki's signature dish. I mean, despite her constant requests. She asked about it just an hour ago. It's really too bad. Gama has banned the serving of fugu, following an incident where a guest was poisoned by a poorly carved piece of the poisonous fish. It appears, however, that Yuki Yamazaki is trying to sway the chef to slice up his final specimen and serve it to her. Who are we to deny her such pleasure, 47? Yeah, great, but now... Where is it? In the basement somewhere? Okay, the fugu fish in the kitchen. Where is the kitchen? <laughs> oh, cool. Restaurant kitchen here. Is that right, poison? What is this? What do you think Did you're doing? You don't belong here. Oh boy, you're in a world of trouble now. I'm going. I'm going. Relax. Relax. I'm hey, fucking. Hey, uh, I need some help here. That shit. You better get the hell out of here, man. This guy's pissing me off. Hey, hey, I need your help. <laughs> It's really easy to get lost here, there. Jeez. Oh, fuck, who was... Mm. Hey. hey, what the hell are you doing? Jesus! Oh, it went through Can a wall. Please help me. I need help. Some bad shit is going down. <laughs> you need to do okay? something. Hey, what seems to be the trouble? You should leave the someone area. Someone is acting up. He needs to be set straight before before he hurts someone. Understood. <sighs> fuck, wish I could kill him right now somehow.
go Foxtrot to November Zulu, over. That's it. We've got someone killing people out there. He was disguised as the staff. Well, doesn't matter anymore. I don't know how they saw me, honestly. The whole reason why I killed this guy, so my disguise wouldn't be blown. Eh, whatever. <laughs> this entourage of people. <clears throat> what is the Fuga? Here we go. Fugafish poison. This is poison from the fugafish, also known as pufferfish. Fuga can be lethally poisonous to eat unless prepared by a master sushi chef. It is considered a rare delicacy in Japan. Yeah. Now uh, we poison sushi, but not me. Should, shouldn't we serve it? Also, which sushi? It's not sushi. Like, can I bring it with me later to give her? That's probably where I need to turn um, on a. Uh, the hints again because <laughs> like what where so what do you do? see I'm in between jobs until daddy fully decides what it is I'm supposed to do I have one passion but Daddy says that's not a real job, and he will cover my allowance. Hey, get my souffles out of the oven, please. Thank you. Fugarol, please. I have a craving, and I won't take no for an answer. No, I have a mortgage. Hmm. Never trust a skinny chef. All right, forty seven. Let's make sure this is her last meal. No, oh, I, I guess I just I'm just going to do it. I thought I would tell her that we secretly served her the sushi but okay this works too i guess wait <laughs> he meant serve to this guy oh i thought he would grab the tray and bring it to her oh my god sorry mate <laughs> Uh, yeah, we need some security and paramedics here. I don't know. It's a mess. Looks like some kind of accident, but I don't know yet. Well, next plan. Cigarettes. I don't know. 
what this is about. Probably I need to uh, get into her room for that. Understood. Containing and setting a perimeter. Out. Compromised, but yeah, actually, I shouldn't wear it at all. <laughs> oh, oops. tricks like that well, I do yoga it's good for the body and the soul it's actually quite an addiction of mine could say I'm a to of Mr. Day's lesson ah uh, director got you working all the time as well uh, actually no he's back to here can't go back which disguise was it uh... So that's her place, I think, yeah. Hey, food smells great. I can't wait. What's this room? Oh, and I... No working staff, including cooks, are coming... Ahead of one of the bodyguard disguises so I just need to get to that place where I left them I've never been here Zen places on this map. Oh, smoker, somebody. Somebody being agitated by smoker. Fuck, I need there. Need to go there. Oh, here we go. Finally.
such variety of <laughs> choices and disguises here. Wait, what the? Uh, the bodyguard disguises somewhere else. <sighs> I don't even remember now. Where was it? Actually, I have a map. Maybe this will kick up my map. Uh, bodyguard. Uh, oh, I know what it is. Kind of. Now that's yoga. Let's just <laughs> run past this guy. <laughs> wow. So I guess running really doesn't matter. Oh, that was one hundred percent my fault, sir. Yes, it was just. Mm -hmm. Just out. You know, even with the added security, this is the most relaxing gig I've been on with Ms. Yamazaki yet. Mm -hmm. Makes me miss the old days, to be honest. Oof, not me. I'm pretty happy she got out of the clan business. Things got hairy around that old trial of the century. Eric Soder's kill list. Yuki Yamazaki's flash drive includes a list of uh, Eric Soder's uh, accomplishments as an ICA agent during the 70s. Among uh, his targets is a certain Dr. Roman Laurent, father of uh, Chief Sergeant Nicholas Laurent. By a strange twist of fate, Laurent is uh, unknowingly trying to save his life. Uh, trying to save the life of his father's killer, if only he knew. So the chief surgeon, it was the guy who I impersonated, and also I think it was the guy who took drugs, so... Okay, there's another way to do it. Just to... Give him that info.
Uh oh. You got the right attitude, son. Oi, get out of there. They're going to uh, suspect me soon. So what is here? Need to find a pack of cigarettes for her? That was stressful. <laughs> so some worker said something about smoking. Maybe I could start looking in Zen Garden. But even if I get the, the cigarettes. I don't have poison. It was everywhere on TV. Uh, a white, you know, over here on the roof. Spent a lot of time in summer. Okay, sure, go. Nikki Anasaki is known as the youth leader of the world. She's been taking a bunch of crime cases and got most of the wrong. Oh, this gentleman. a pipe. What is this? Is he a vapor? Payday next week. Yeah. <laughs> Another vapor? <laughs> Can I steal their vapes? Those are patients. Proceed with that. Let's, let's explore like, the bottom area, maybe. Place like this. Good luck. Uh, 
So the client's a trial lawyer? Yuki Yamazaki dropped her cigarettes off the lift when arriving at the hospital. According to her bodyguards, this has put her on edge. Maybe you can help quench those cravings, 47. Cigarettes are contraband at Gamma, but surely not everyone follows the rules. Criminal defense. Mm. Yeah. Yamazaki That's where? The controversial. Search the Texans room for cigarettes. I saw a guy in the sushi shop. This looked like Texan. How, how the fuck I acquired that information? Um, I guess uh, 47 saw him smoking somewhere? What is his room? <laughs> like, without any hints, it's just such hard experience. Oof. Should I wait for him in sushi? Yeah, maybe. Don't follow him. Surgical system manual, an operation manual for Kai, the hospital's revolutionary AI developed by Kronstadt Technologies. Apparently, Kai not only helps the facility running but also controls the surgery robot in the operation theater at, uh, and is programmed to automatically revive patients when the they flatline. This could complicate matters, however, the only person with access to Kai's mainframe is the hospital director. Oh, well, too late for that, but... It's fine. I don't know how he looks, this director. That's the first thing I wanted to do, is to get into a mainframe. This guy wants to enter <laughs> somewhere. How you been? Looks like the place I came from. Texan man, come on! What are you doing? Go to your room. He might not even I'm go into American. his room. I don't have restrictions. Look, uh, let me tell you, we are the security of the free world. You, you are a part of, of said free world, right? So, your, 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 your commies got you. Have they gotten to you? Oh, have they gotten to you too? No, nope. we are a democracy just like America. But, you can't pass through here for security. Uh, never mind you. Wasting my time here. Yeah, I need another drink. It's like really, really dry here. <sighs> I 
And back to the sushi. <sighs> well, I have to turn it turn it on again. Cuz there's just no way to know. Oh, that's okay. Where this room is. Well, I still need to uh, gain access somehow. This this room right here might be mine, but I can, now I can't enter without it, my clothes. Uh, huh. Okay, this is this was through here. Wait. No, 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 no. Uh, I knocked out the guy. Where was it? Now that's Zen place. Uh, it was like steam steam room place. Here, oh yeah, fuck. Finally. Close the toilet. Does it just press one button action? Nothing else? Are they going to turn?
call for assistance. Interesting. Mr. Dexter is admin admitted to Gamma on the red list. He is scheduled for a long transplant as soon as a viable donor organ becomes available. So far, there seems to be no complications and the supervising surgeon is positive towards a full recovery of the patient. Here we go. Ooh. Gamma has a strict no smoking policy in all areas of the hospital, so these are definitely contraband and must be must have been smuggled in somehow. Replace Yuki's empty pack of cigarettes, but why? Like I'll give her cigarettes and then what? Is she going is she going to hide somewhere to smoke and then she's going to be alone? Well, let's just follow the game, I guess. This a reference top solution, yeah. Pretty sure. It's not the same guy. Also, voice actor didn't sound Texan at all. Kinda tried to do it a little bit, but yeah. I think voice acting in general, they they didn't do a thorough job with that. Like hear the same guy uh, in a lot of places. Nicely done, 47. When Yamazaki finds that pack, she's sure to want to light up in the first place she can find. Wait, what she said? <laughs> Probably some... some joke. Let's wait. Look how cool I am. What a waste of time. Surrounding, give yourself some HHQ. This is Papa Bear standing down, returning to base in 10 mics. Over. This guy is insane. What? Shit. Sir, you need to leave.
the hell is wrong with him? Oh, the sink. Answer uh, in like in blood money. If you kill somebody with an accident, uh, even if it's a civilian or non-target uh, person, it doesn't count as killing. It's just accident. Is this the same in this game? If I like push somebody off the ledge, will I get fined? Or is it okay if it's an accident? of solitude <laughs> It's down. Time to find an exit. We're done here. This fuck. How am I going to exit? Crawl through? Yes. to be ninja No, in bold money you could just push people off the ledges like it's not a problem if if it counts as an accident, no matter who you kill, it's fine. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, he moved eventually. Whatever. How do I leave now? On the helicopter? No, what's this? I'm lost again. 
Whatever, let's just go with this disguise. I wanted to grab my uh, kimono or whatever that garb is. Since it's not a suit, it uh, doesn't really matter. Will not be a great score. I think I, I killed one guy non target. Uh, erase recordings. That's about it. Oh, the last cutscene, maybe? The Providence guy and Diana. Miss Burnwood. Looks like it's Moriarty from. Sherlock, BBC, a bit more serious, though. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. There'll be no retaliation, not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. Someone's been meddling in our affairs, killing our operatives, and making the ICE look like fools. I think you got close to that someone, closer than we've ever been. That's why we're hiring you to take him down. I don't think so. Don't rattle our cages, Miss Burnwood. You really have no idea. You spy on us, bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. No. You can't be trusted. Even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. In his own special way, he cares about you and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. Oh wait, I think this guy is actually from the second from game. Depraved experiment. It might be. But he's gone now. Ah. Well, if you believe the question Kinda looks with the him, part. We have nothing further to discuss. If not, as I said, I think we could help each other. Hmm. Partners then. Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We... <laughs> we are the lesser evil. This terrorist. He wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Burnwood, we won a long time ago. This... <laughs> this is maintenance. He was you. He had this sad face. This his whole life. Poor forty-seven. Even in his childhood. Well, that was a nice experience. Um, yeah, like loved it from the start. Um. In the fifth mission, it was <sighs> kind of ridiculous, and I got a bit frustrated. But uh, yeah, by the end, really great game. Uh, 
it's some small things bite away a little bit from the from it becoming like a masterpiece uh yeah but that's just everything this game did that's exactly what you want for hitman to be mostly you you can still do better but they have just right direction uh yeah i i wouldn't understand people who like absolution <laughs> there are some people like that and uh, it's weird to me that uh, this game received some backlash uh not just for it being episodic and uh, having DRM, which I can understand and I against that too, but for like criticizing maps and uh, just the gameplay in general. I think if you don't like this one, I don't think you'll like Hitman at all. It's just general improvement on the formula of Hitman. Yeah. Uh, the ones, the maps that I liked, I think the first three of the main missions, been great. Bonus maps were good to accept the holiday one, and the worst one out of main campaigns had to be the fifth. There's just a lot of targets and. Uh, Eh, I don't know. It's like the worst out of all of them, but still just fine. Yeah, I'm I'm going to play this game more in uh, in the days to pass. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how much uh, more I can more interesting ways to kill I can find. Yeah, patient zero going to be next. Tomorrow. Some of those details were mixed in two. Don't know about third since I didn't play that one. I didn't buy the third one because <laughs> They decided to go in Epic Store again. Just really shitty move uh, um, in terms of just distributing your game. Uh, I have second one already, but I will wait with that. No noticed kills, okay. Eh. Still no silent assassin. Was it first try? I think it was first try. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't restart. And Or loaded. That was good. I like how I <laughs> first fucked up the session with the yoga master, then poisoned the wrong guy, and then eventually got her with the cigarettes. Well, gotta go now. See ya.